Hey, this is Will Putney. I'm a producer engineer at Graphic Nature Audio in Belleville, New Jersey, and we're here today with TuneTrack to work on my drum library. My relationship with TuneTrack started a few years ago. We uh, hooked up for Drumception, the annual Metal Month collaboration where I wrote a song with Dirk and that went really well. And then we had um, talked about working together on some actual sample library stuff for a while and the timing was finally good. We're actually potentially relocating our studio and I love my drum room and I never wanted it to go away. And this is a chance to sort of immortalize it with all the drums I have, with all the mics I have all my favorite room spots. And so I'm like, let's get this forever, permanently in a really good sampler that we can use and kind of preserve what was here. So that was sort of a catalyst to be like, all right, we're gonna do this now because you know, if we wind up moving studios, I would hate to see these drum sounds disappear. And um, secondly, just from a workflow perspective, why not create what I think are my favorite drums and put them in what I think is my favorite drum plugin it's just a perfect combination of things from my workflow. So for me, it's the best of both worlds. It's the drum sounds I like with the plugin that I like. So we've been in this studio for about almost 10 years now, coming up on 10 years. I originally moved here with Machine, the record producer. We had shared a spot uh, a few minutes down the road and we were looking to expand. So we came into this place and realized like, okay, there's this cruddy warehouse in Belleville, New Jersey, but it sounds really, really good. And I think for about the past seven years, we've just been making all of our records here with my team of engineers. And the room is a, is a really non-traditional dimension, I guess, for a drum room. It does have a, a decent ceiling height, which I think helps a lot. You know, there's a poured concrete floor. We put different laminate flooring and some different bamboo wood in different spots of the room to give you kind of some flexibility on reflections where you place drum mics and some close scobos around the drummer to just dry up close mics. I'm big on having really dry close mics and having lots of variety with the ambience in the room, which is what we have here because there's a good distance from the kit, there's a good height from the kit, there's really cool sounding corners in the room, the floor sounds good. It's a very flexible room. In basically all the records I do, I try my hardest to keep the drums as natural as possible. Generally, I've always been a fan of really aggressive drums. And with the style of music that I do, there's a lot of times where they're more forward in a mix and they normally would be, you know, in the given rock or metal production. The reality and the realism that's within the drums that we just did and all the different articulations, it's gonna be really useful to actually incorporate this stuff into my mix and have it even you know, take it even further down that road with being able to use samples, but also having these believable, real, natural drum tones. We've been through a lot of drums <laughs> this week, but I've definitely been able to use a lot of my favorite kits, like all of the Birch kits that I like, the big 24 inch kick. We went through some of the Birch Provinga stuff. We even got this really awesome steel kit with a 13 and a 16 inch tom that in recent times has been one of my most used kits. So I was really happy to sample that one. And then so many snares, all of the snares that I love and use all the time. Rim shots, ready when you are. So the main thing for me when we were doing this recording process for the sample library was I actually wanted to record the drums really, really raw. 
other than like some subtle EQ and filtering stuff. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I've been through a lot of sample libraries that are kind of overdone. And it just becomes this one trick pony thing where you're very limited to what the amount of headroom you have. So for me, it was like, let's do them really raw. Let's get really, really good tones the best we can without any support from any of this outboard gear or anything. And then inside the plugin, within the parameters of the presets and with all the extra multi-effects and things that are in there, we'll design just a variety of different sort of preset packs that can flex all the muscles that these drums can do. Can I just hear the kick drum, please? The tune track sampling method has been above and beyond what I even thought we would wind up doing. You know, for how complicated it is, the system couldn't really go any smoother than it has. You know, there's a team of guys here who are just killing it in real time with me while we're making samples. And listening back to this stuff is just awesome because it's literally my drums. In the room, it sounds exactly how I like drums to sound. And I guess my final thoughts about this whole drum session was I love the idea that I had a problem and I was able to solve it. And I hope that that really applies to the other people who check out this product because this is the library that I always wanted and I'm gonna use this all the time.